Hey guys, welcome back to another MGI investing tutorial. This is Barrett, and today we're going to be doing a technical analysis of ticker symbol JNUN. Let's jump right into it. Okay guys, today we saw JNUG up around 10%. Um, all the way up until 1030 and then we just had this massive down spike all the way down to this uh, Fibonacci retracement line at three dollars and 87 cents um, Only to reverse right after market hours 10% jump right here all the way back up to four dollars and 20 cents If any of you watched my previous video, you would know that I mentioned that four dollars and 50 cents uh, Was going to be critical for a move higher. Uh, we saw this with that move before 1030 uh, in the morning I also mentioned that a break below the lows of Friday would fill the gap from last Tuesday, uh, which it did, uh, and the 10% jump for those that took advantage of it uh, after hours. On the news side of things, coronavirus cases in the U.S. have increased dramatically over the past couple of days. Um, the market ended up around 3.5%, showing some signs of optimism um, and possibly the longevity of the virus, um, but we're going to have to see how that plays out. Here on the screen, I have a Fibonacci retracement line, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, lines from the low of last Monday of $2.90 to the high of this Thursday of $7.40. Basically, these lines just let us know where possible support and areas of resistance might be. Uh, you can see today, right before market closed, we had that 10% jump um, around $3.87. Looking for to tomorrow... Um, $3.87 is going to be critical support. This is the Fibonacci replacement line, the 78.6%. Uh, $4.63 is the resistance. Uh, if we can break that, it could lead the way to $5 and possibly even $5.50. Breaking down below the lows of today opens the door to $3.50 and those lows of last Monday at $2.90. Uh, one thing to note is many of these mines have been closed and do not have a date of reopening. Uh, so JNUG um, is an index of gold mines basically located in different regions of the world. Uh, their biggest portion of holdings is actually um, one that's located in Africa, which is closed down and they do not know a date uh, or when they will be reopening. I just want to say thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.